This is how you draw a boom. A boom is a vertical pipe that holds the lights in position uh, if they're sitting on the floor. There's a boom base with a pipe in the middle and then this represents the side arm. This is a picture of the same boom with the boom base on the floor, the vertical pipe going up, and here's a side arm. If you're trying to draw a unit without a side arm and you're just going to yoke it out on the C clamp, then you draw it this way. But this is a side arm, two on a side arm, or a double T side arm, and then this would be a single side arm at the top of the boom. In this case, this side arm is mounted two feet off the floor. This is four feet off the floor. Uh, special note on the paper, these are not in scale. So this is two feet off the floor and four feet off the floor, and this one is eight feet off the floor. And if you don't have enough space to draw the entire pipe on your paper, this jagged line indicates that there is a break in the line. So you could, as long as the dimension is there, you don't have to draw the full pipe. Especially, let's say this were 12 feet high, you don't need to draw all that empty space, as long as you put this symbol there that tells us we need to pay attention to the dimension. To actually draw the boom, I'm going to start by drawing that center circle. So I have a marker to use. And you would draw the center circle on your light plot wherever it would happen to go. So you can, the electricians can place it on the floor for you. So I have my center circle, just like so. Take my units. Draw my symbol. I want to add another symbol. And on side arms, you draw them pretty close together. So I'm going to use this dot right here, which sensor centers it at 9 inches instead of 18 inches. The caution here is being able to focus and adjust the shutters. So there are my two units just like so. And the next thing I want to do is take my triangle and put it in the cross hatches. In this case, they look like they're about 45 degrees, so I'm going to use my 45 degree triangle and a new sharp pencil because the cross hatches want to be thinner than the outside line. Now notice I'm going to use the same, just use the triangle on both units here. Start turning my pencil, keep that line nice and sharp. There we go, there are my two units. Now I'm going to add the rest of the circle for the boom itself, like so, without drawing through the unit. And then I will add my side arm. And there we go.